concept of strings or string library in a stand li standard library of Zig. So I, I had to go searching for one because I, I knew, you know, this language has been out long enough where somebody has already had this problem. And the open source community prevails, okay? So, and, and also on the page it says that it's a decentralized package system. So you can just get this right from, uh, you know, GitHub, all right? So here's the guy, his name is, uh-oh, uh, Juka, you know what? I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, right? But this guy right here, Swarski, he looks like he's a Polish guy, or it's from Tacoma, Washington. He looks like a Polish guy, right? All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna take this library and we're gonna use this right here, right? So let's copy this right here. Why do I have two of these open? What is, what is this other one? What is this other one? Okay, I have two of these open for no reason. All right. So what we want to do is get clone. Paste this guy's library in there. All right. You can see I already have the library, so let's just go with it, right? All right. And with Zig, since there's not you know, it, he has some examples down here, right? Or he has an example down here, right? But a lot of times it won't be like this. So you're going to have to learn from the test, right? So back here, he says that there's all of the, he says these are all the methods. And we have a split, find, we're going we're gonna to do the split, find, and concat method, right? Because it looks like he, um, you know, it looks like in here, and this is how, you, I'm sorry, I'm going off on another tangent, but this is how you, um, this is how you, this is how you figure out how to use this. You know, you can see this find method down here. And you see it just, it just, you can see basically from the assert that it's gonna, whatever character you put in here or string you put in here, it's gonna return the the index of that. So if it doesn't return an index, then that means it's not in the string. So you can use this as a string contains type deal anyway too. All right, so uh, I, might have, I might end up writing a library on top of this. All right, so let's just get into it, right? So let me call this uh, str, we'll call this str.zig, okay? So first, like always, we'll put the, so we have a print function. So we put at import std and uh, debug.print. We'll create our main function pub fn main. Okay, perfect. So that's what we're doing out here. All right, all right. Now we're gonna need we're gonna need the standard package because it's gonna include this allocator. Okay, and then we have our debug printed. Here's the library right here. So we got this directory zig string, and I can see his license. I gotta check out his license too. And we're going for this file right here. Right here, zig string and dot string so that we can get directly to the class or object that we need to all right and now we're gonna we're gonna have to put this allocator this arena allocator uh, i guess you have to uh initialize manually and deinitialize your memory with an allocator in in um in uh in zig uh, i'm gonna have to look more into this like but this is this is how this um, particular library says to use it. All right, and now we're gonna we're gonna have to put this allocator, this arena allocator. Uh, I guess you have to uh, initialize manually and deinitialize your memory with an allocator in in. Um, in, uh, in Zig, uh, I'm gonna have to look more into this. Like, but this is this is how this um, 
particular library says to use it. Then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to allocate the uh, string before you put anything in there, right? You're gonna have to allocate that memory, right? I don't know why I don't know why he wrote this library this way. I would hide that away from the user. Um, so I'm considering taking this library and making making my own with it because this you know this should have been hidden away, right? Because the way you use this now, right, is you put my string. You know, my string is variable because there's nothing in there right now, right? So my string dot concat to concatenate. That's basically joining two strings together. Why well, my damn light go off? Okay. And then we'll put hello. And we'll put a comma in there so we have something to delimit when I split the string because that's coming up next. Okay, and then we can print this out. Okay, dot, and then we'll put my string, and then you have to do str, and this converts it to a string, right? So let's do that. Okay, so zig run str.zig okay forgot to put the void invalid token public function main Sort of using try. Okay, so let's tr let's put a try there. Okay, boy. Well, okay, that's when we have to put that up there. To make that an optional. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, just had to make that. I had to put that before a little blooper right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and bam, we have our we have our hello world that prints prints it out like that, right? So now let's try to split the string, right? Okay, so let's print this out. I'll put this to it. S you know what? Let's let's uh, make this go onto a new line, just so we can see this better. Okay, and all right. So we do. What the hell just happened there? Okay. Okay. So we put my string dot split. Split. Then we can put we we'll put a comma in there because we have a comma in this one, right? And then we put whichever one it. it so okay, so if we want to put we want to get hello. Okay, there we go. So we get get hello first, right? Now if we want. The other one, we just put one, which is the next one in the array, right? Okay. So it'll give you world this time, right? And we can we'll, we'll make another token just just to make it clear. Okay. And then it, let's say buddy. Okay. So we're gonna split this by this, and then we're gonna do um, one. Because it's going to split this from this, so this will be one. This whole string right here will be one, and this will be this will be zero, and this will be one. Or this will be the first one, we see the second one, but it indexes start at zero, so zero and one. Okay, so let's do that. I don't know what the hell is doing on here. Okay, 
So let's zig run this. Okay, and you have buddy down there, right? And just, just for argument's sake, we'll, we'll do zero, and it'll print out the first part of the split, okay? To drive this point home. Okay, and it prints out hello world, okay? So, the next one we can do is find, okay? So print, and then we'll do, because what this is going to do is going to return an index, right? So, so my string dot find, and then we're going to put uh, world, okay? And this will put out an index. We'll put out an index of that, right? Okay, and you see it's seven down here, right? So we'll put out, you can tell that that's good. the world is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters away, okay? And you can get it like that, all right? And if there is not, so you can use this as like a string contains type deal too. It'll return null. So let's say dog, okay? And it'll return null because there's no dog in there. So let's see. Let's see what happens if there's a if we do an if statement with this to put this together. If uh, my string dot find uh, let's say dog then we will print. You have a dog. Okay. Then else print you do not have a Okay, so let's clear this. Tired of looking at all that. All right, I have to put a, a not equal to null because this in this function, you can see that it either returns the index or it returns null over here. But it says u size. Okay, and this leads me to wonder why, you know, like languages like Dart. Um, you know, Rust, that it, Rust uh, I think Go took it out as well, but it won't allow you to put null, null values, uh, null pointer exceptions or null values, whatever. Um, curious to see what they do with this right here. This is a pretty young language, um, and that'll be it for strings. Uh, but just call, if you want to do, this is the best library I've found. If you, if you, you find a better library for strings, uh, for Zig, please comment below. All right, thank you.